become our student, and get access to effective and free educational materials. Where did you get assigned to go this time around? They asked me to go to Paris to check on the new office that was just established there. And you? Hong Kong again. I would like to go somewhere different for a change. Teach me Cantonese and I'll pull some strings to get a trade with you next time around. If you really want to learn, remind me when you get back from your business trip. You're on. When do you leave? I'm scheduled to fly out on the 10th. How much is your last salary? I have earned 10,000 a year including bonuses. How much do you want us to pay you? I like to be paid more than that. Hopefully, 150,000 a year. To be honest, I left the company to get more income. Hello, this is Lin Dao. I am calling to inquire about my interview result last week. Hi. I am sorry to say that your experience doesn't fit the job at all. Sorry to hear that, but could you inform me why I failed? I have to say your education and experience are very outstanding. But it seems that you are not good at working in a team which we attach great importance to. How will you ship the order? Air freight is the quickest and safest way, I think. But the freight cost will be higher and that will affect the retail price. Excuse me, I have an appointment with Mr. Lee at 9. May I come in? Yes, come in please. I am Mr. Lee. You must be my Lou, right? Yes, I am my Lou. Thanks. I'd like to start this interview with some questions. Why do you think you are qualified for this position? According to your advertisement, you want an experienced software engineer. I think my background meets the requirement of this position. Then tell me something about your background. My major was computer science when I was at college, and I am quite familiar with Visual C++ and Java language. Well, what do you think about the development in computers? The developments in software are going ahead very quickly and more and more problems are resolved by software. In some regions, the hardware is completely replaced by software. So I think the software industry has a great future. Have you ever designed any programs concerning network? Yes. I have designed some programs for the network with Visual C++ and I have passed the test for programmers, Muse. Have you got anything to ask me? Yes. Can you tell me what's my responsibility in this position? Yes, of course. You would be responsible for the development of software products. I see. This is my advantage. Good. Have you got any other questions? No. Okay. I will contact you in a week. See you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Our toner cartridges are already out of ink. Could you make an order for a new set? We will need new cartridges for all of the office printers. That will be a large order, probably about two or three cases. The office supply store we usually go through might not have that many in stock. You can double check with the housekeeping department, but I am pretty sure all of the machines will need new cartridges. Last time when we made our order to the supplier, the quantity was also especially high. They are used to receiving such bulk orders from us. As long as we give them a heads up a couple days in advance, 
They can usually fill the order. Okay. I will make a few calls and run our order by housekeeping first to make sure. Is there anything else we need to order while I am at it? I think the only thing is toner. Try to see if they can deliver it before the end of business day tomorrow. We should really try to do better about waiting until the last minute to fill orders that are usually made on a monthly basis. Anyhow, see what you can do to expedite the order this time. Okay, will do. I want to know whether you can handle the matters of registered permanent residents. Don't worry about such problems. We can deal with them for you. Other questions? I have no other questions. Thank you. You are welcome. Good afternoon, ABC Incorporated. How many I direct your call? I would like to speak to Mr. Miles. I am sorry, sir. He isn't in right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes. Can you tell him Bob White called? And your company name, please? He knows who I am. Is there a telephone number where you can be reached? I can be reached at 544-879-9087 until 5 p.m. today. Thank you, sir. I'll tell him you called. Thank you. How do you think the report I wrote? Not bad, but there is more room for improvement. I jumped the gun. There were some gaps in your report. Please be more sorrow. Yes, I overlooked some facts. I'll be more sorrow. Good morning, Mr. Smith. My name is Susan and I am a reporter for the Evening Star. Good morning. How can I help you? I was hoping to talk to you today about your business. Very well. How long have you been the owner of your computer shop? About five years. And how many staff do you employ? There is my wife who does the accounts and my brother who helps with the sales. So this is a family business? Yes, we are a small family business. And how many computers do you sell each day? That depends on the day. We sell from here and on the internet. I would say about 20 to 30 per week. That about 100 a month. That's correct. Thank you B for your time. Thank you and goodbye. Excuse me for being late to work. Where have you been? My car broke down. That's too bad. Please try to fix it so that it doesn't happen again. Yes, I'll work on it. Thank you. Have a seat. We are working on the new project. Great. Fill me in. Let's take a look at the Campbell project. I don't understand the projected revenues. Let's take another look at it for those of you who don't understand. Thank you so much for interviewing me this evening. Happy to meet with you. Now, do you prefer group projects? I like to work alone on some things and then bring those things to the group. Do you value a steady job more or one that offers a chance to move ahead? I want to grow in my job and move ahead. Could you work for us in another state, if need be? I need to stay in the area because of my family. How much do you need to make per year? 75,000 per year. 
Yikes! Thanks for your interest in this job. We'll be getting back to you. I want to find a job in your bank as an accounting clerk. Do you know various funds and accounts? Yes, I enjoy working with that. Great. We have a very pleasant working condition and I think we have a fine staff to work with. Would you please mail these letters, Lucy? Yes, sir. These two are urgent letters and should be sent by registered express airmail. Others are ordinary letters. All right. Who should I send them to? It's sent to Mr. Charles. I believe he is in London. Okay. Home or office address? Office address, please. He might be at work when they arrive. Should I enclose this commercial paper with these two letters? Yes, it's right. How could we advertise our celebrations to mark the centenary of the founding of the university? I'm sure we could get one or two TV companies to come in. Perhaps the president could invite them and do an interview. That's a good idea. We could put up some posters in and around the campus with a list of events. It would be quite cheap to do on the campus. It will be expensive to do outside the campus. Perhaps we could arrange for some sponsorship. We could contact alumni who work for large, well-known companies. They might be able to arrange cheap advertising in exchange for some free tickets. Good thinking. We should also print some leaflets for students to distribute. We should put some information about it on the home page of our university website. When people visit the website, they'll see the information. We could take out some advertisements to local newspapers. I checked the prices and they are reasonable. Okay, let's get to work on our advertising campaign. Would you be willing to meet the extra cost if we meet your additional requirements? Well, if you can meet our deadline. That shouldn't be a problem, as long as we can make ends meet. I also hope your quality will meet our standard. We never fail to meet our client's expectation. Excellent. We will meet all your conditions if you can meet our demands. Now, that's all I want to say about World Coal Reserves. So let's move on to the next topic, renewable resources. There are three things we have to consider when talking about renewable resources. First, sustainability. Second, marketability. Lastly, the reality factor. Let's talk about each point in more detail John. Would you like to take it from here? Certainly. As my colleague just mentioned, sustainability is a major concern when examining the potential output of a resource. Of course, as you can see from the content of our presentation today, with renewable resource, there is a much larger sustainability than with non-renewable resource. Our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English.